Now, here's 12 Sports. Well, there were certainly more highs than lows for Ed Cooley as the Providence College men's basketball head coach during his 12-year run. He revitalized his hometown program in one of the greatest basketball leagues in the country. But did the way it all ended tarnish his legacy? We take a look back on his first full day as a Hoya. Us, we, together, family. Friars? The man who reinvented the brand of Providence College, who is the prodigal son of his hometown, and who was given the key to his city, is off to a conference rival. A dozen years of memories, two Big East championships, and a trip to the Sweet 16. His final weeks on the job, anything but sweet. Monday morning, Cooley put his East Greenwich home on the market. It later revealed he signed the sales disclosure back on March 3rd, four days removed from his team's final victory, a win at Georgetown, his soon-to-be new team. Coincidence? Oh, and his autograph on that real estate document came one day before the regular season finale, an 82-58 blowout loss on senior day. A once promising season that began 17 and 5 and 9 and 2 in the Big East had Friartown in a frenzy, dreaming of defending their title, grabbing another top seed in the dance. Yet the only dance taking place was Cooley grooving to his own tune behind closed doors on his way to DC. His betrayal came during the most critical time on the college hoops calendar, potentially sacrificing a deep March run and now possibly at the expense of his own legacy. As Taylor Swift so famously sings, you belong with me. Ed Cooley, you no longer belong to PC.